Hey, hello, Fred here. Look at this beauty of this spongy. Luke Perry was kind to share his setup of this image and he even post this speed up video. You know, we walk you through how to set up this in a slow speed, of course, in the geometry side, the rendering in materials maybe next time okay let's go direct to the point quick overview of what we're gonna do we create a shape that will give the overall shape of the fungi and then we create a bunch of spheres inside it and in the intersection of those spheres we create another shape and then on top of these two flows we create lines and give it some flow and then you will have it First, you have your object that you want to give the overall shape of the fungi, and then you birth voxel, select the object, and you can hide the object now, you don't need it anymore. Then press tab, shape, and then you select the spheres, 3D, sphere, mid res, it's fine, and then you give a scale. In display, you display geometry, that's important. So let's tune here. For now, we don't need that much, so we can increase the voxel size. And to give it a randomness, you click in grain setup, in presets, so it will kind of... And you can also play with jitter here, okay. Here in scale, you, you want to give it a variation. But it's important that all the spheres start to intersect. Because that's important for the next setup, as you can guess already. You can also play with spread. To finalize this first part, you add mesh operator and the very important part to make it work is to uncheck render only so now we have a mesh now we go to part two for that we create new here on the second type flow we're gonna give a birth to intersection and we pick this first type flow now we need to include self intersection and display if you select display sprites we'll be able to see the new particles so we can change the value to include more and more so here's in this section next step we go to vdb tab birth vdb particles to sdf you select include this flows particle and you can change the color just to visualize better here you can play with the value that suits your pursue of art and that's the basic setup for the part two. And now we're gonna go to the part number three. And we create another type flow. In this type flow, we will make another birth intersection, but between the type flow number one and two. So pick type flow, the spheres yellow here in this case, and you pick the green, the type flow number two. And you want this to happen only in the first frame. So you just spread in the intersection the new particles. Increase the density. Depend of what you're looking for. Let's display the sprites again. So next we put collision
can we select again the both flows because we're going to make those particles to move and try to avoid the shapes and then we add a force in gravity we can put a value a positive value so it is like negative gravity makes sense uh, so things will go up next we put a spline path and create new and you select here to visualize the, the spline is getting there let's make some tweaks in gravity you can add some turbulence some variation you need to play with that for your scene in the spline itself you can create a curve to make it pointy less thick more interesting we don't need to display the sprites anymore and birth intersection we can increase the amount and there you go that's the basic setup if you want to add some variation to geometry add a noise 